all have those moments where video just does not capture everything. Right now there's all this beautiful dew on the grass. Of course, you can't feel the warmth of the sun. The subtleties, shades of light and dark. There's the morning sun. It's just rising over the mountain. The excited whir of the hummingbirds because they get to have sugar for breakfast. Maybe I'll come back as a hummingbird. I realized it's a lot harder to catch hummingbirds than it seems. But I'll keep trying. some of the frustrating things. I'm waiting in line to just pick up an ethernet cable and this guy in front of me is picking up his television. So I've already paid for it, I've already selected it, but I can't pick it up because he's got to review his television purchase. It's my hummingbird breakfast. A delicious caramel frap, frap, frappe, whatever. Oh my goodness, I was so frustrated in that store. Mm. And I think not so much just the waiting, but the way it doesn't make any sense. And you'll find a lot of things like that in Panama. So I'm waiting in line with other people behind me to pick up the item that I paid for. And there's one guy behind the counter who's helping everybody who's waiting in line. And there's like 30 employees throughout the store and they're just chatting together. Uh, and nobody else except this one guy can do this job of retrieving the products for people. And the guy ahead of me bought a TV and they have to take it out of the box. They have to make sure it works. And then He's the guy who delivers it to the guy's car. <laughs> so uh, I think it's, it's not so much like the waiting. I mean, you, you wait for things all the time, but it's that common sense kind of stuff. Um, and even in, you know, this big electronic store, uh, you won't find the customer focused uh, mindset necessarily. They're very nice. You know, it's very pleasant. They're, they're very nice to deal with, but it's just not um, like, you know, oh, we have people waiting, let's get them their stuff. Anyway, my little hummingbird breakfast is making things mucho bueno. Now I'm going to get my license. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna take like a driver's test in Spanish and get some blood taken. Ah, adventures, we'll see what happens. Well, this was the first step, just showing up, paying, picking up the book to study, and then I have to wait about 21 days for paperwork to return from the city. Oh, more adventures in Panama. Uh, slowness I guess so my friend mailed she was picking up my mail at my mailbox in San Luis Obispo and this was a my debit card and she mailed it August 10th uh, it's postmarked August 10th Santa Barbara it just got here today uh, today is I believe the 30th of October uh, when I didn't see that mail come, because it was a debit card, I ordered a replacement probably 
about a month ago because I figured, well, it's been a month, maybe six weeks. This arrived on the same day. So now I have two replacement cards. <laughs> and it took like a week to get them to Vulcan from Coronado. Uh, I don't even know why. I just don't know why. It took a long time. It took an extra six dollars. And uh, anyway, at least I have my replacement card, both of them. And now I'm, I might try and find a place to get my toenails done. Um, but actually I'm gonna try and find this shop, Vitamin, the Vitamin Shop. Uh, because I'm gonna be in San Luis Obispo without literally like a cup, a spoon, a bowl, a plate, a pot, a pan, I am going to try and do meal replacement powders <laughs> and see how that works. thumbs in the way there. So they don't have the table set up here. You can't like sit outside. I think this is called chicheme. And it's, uh, I believe, corn and milk and sugar. I'm gonna taste it. Oh my God. Where has this been all my life? Oh my God. It's like a cornbread milkshake. I cannot believe I've never had this before, and I cannot believe how amazing it is. I might have to go back and get more. This is so good. I don't want this to end. Wow. Oh. Next up on the food tour in the car, it's pretty hot, so I don't know if it's ready to be eaten. Mm. <laughs> Somebody was telling me why this place was well known. Now I know why. This is amazing. I haven't even gotten to the meat part, just the corn. I think I'm just in love with corn. Okay, last on the tasting menu is arroz con leche. Ooh, I like the cinnamon smell. Mmm. This has raisins in it. I don't usually like rice pudding with raisins, but these raisins are amazing. Mm. I love this place. This is the book. And uh, so I think there's, you know, some statistics and then they give you some signs and information. And it sounded like you actually had to answer the questions in the book and bring it to Sturtrasan. Um, I'm not positive about that, but I think I'm gonna try and do this in Spanish. I mean, it seems like a decent way to try and pick up more of the language. Um, it's not like the book is completely full, full, full. One thing I love about Vulcan is you'll see horses and cows all over the place. Well, it's quite clear to me that I need to find a place of my own pretty soon because I'm buying all these things that uh, you buy when you have a permanent place to live. My favorite things so far 
are my little pineapple plates. I love these. I got them at the Media Mall in um, David, and they were a dollar thirty-five each. Nice. I'm sitting right here until I need to make my second cup of tea, <clears throat> which is in about two sips. <laughs> Guess who went missing again? And by the time I get the next video out, he'll probably be back. Mm -hmm.